Hi once again, uh, welcome to Shard 11 Episode 7 of my evil playthrough of Eodor, uh Genesis New Horizons Community Mod, uh, December 2022 edition. I have, since I spoke to you last, I've had a lot of sleep. I'm hopefully sounding a lot more lively and awake. Um, now, I don't entirely recall what was going on. I remember that Joanna died to these um, these centaurs, but she took a couple of them out, and, I, and that makes me really want her to fight them again. But I've got no way of healing her super quick, so, so you can just search. But I'm thinking maybe if I just fill her army with some cannon fodder or something, which unfortunately I don't really have. Uh, what am I doing? What am, what am I doing? You know, I want I want something with like high hit points. I guess the pikeman maybe. Is it worth hiring lawful units? <laughs> probably if it's if that's what their strategy is going to be. So that that's probably going to be my strategy actually. Um, fill her fill her up with pikemen. <laughs> Um, and attack the centaurs and see whether we get a different out, um, different outcome. Um, now, Ruka, I think I said was going to. Ooh, they're just about to. They're just about to um, uh, rebel. Ruka, I think I said I was going to take on. What was it? This thug executioner war elephant, and I was like, oh yeah, I think that would be pretty easy. So I've actually, I've the thug and the executioner would be easy, um, even though the the thug is level two, the executioner is level three. But this war elephant, I wasn't 100% certain about. So I actually went, I went and looked it up on the Wikipedia, and it's a level, f it's a rank four, um, with like 120 hit points. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's any way that I'll be able to take that on, actually. So I'm glad I, glad I looked that up before I made a fool of myself. Um, this scout, yeah, my main, my main character, just having a bit of trouble. Um, but he's exploring, ooh, what's that? An avatar of light. He's exploring this, um, uh, this place, and then I might get him and come back and try and take on a great cyclops because you know the scouts with the double shots are really good for like you know killing single things um great cyclops uh how do i maybe if i do this then it will be less annoying for you guys when i check eodorpedia because then it won't scroll off the screen let's have a look at this uh giant cyclops units or great cyclops or whatever it is cyclops okay so cyclopses are evil they're also a rank four um but yeah they're they're evil which means that my silver arrows will do you know more, more damage to them they, they do have a hundred um, hit points. <coughs> um, and I've got heals knowledge, which is kind of annoying because this isn't a heal, which means that, and, and that, that they can move to you. So, I don't know. I think Ruka, once he can double cast, if I, if I make him just like a mage or whatever, He'll be able to web and then just shock, <laughs> shock or whatever the the cyclops down pretty easy. So I I, I really see real car becoming um my main um dude, and I don't see him completing this stupid pikeman quest. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll leave it on him for now. Anyway, so. We'll car the wizard. We want to level him up. 
you know, maybe he could take even take on a giant the great cyclops now and like the other way which I've, i think i've already shown in this um series somewhere is that um you just cast fear on them and they would <laughs> they run away and then that's a victory um what's the strength what's the strength of the cyclops so 35 attack and 32 counter attack which means that my i think my web um will be effectively ineffective <laughs> um i do have that blindness spell that i could get So I could blind him, and that would last for at least four turns, maybe. Probably a little, maybe a little bit longer, and then in that time, um, hopefully I could just be like, um, shocking them to death. So let's try this. Let's actually try this. We'll take blindness, um, and we'll just take shocks. This is our strategy. I think shock will probably do, you know, more damage than fireblade. Why the fuck have I got fireblade? Fireblade was meant to be spectral blade, um, but that's all right. We'll just take shocks. I think. Ooh. Ooh, I mean, I don't know what's... <laughs> I mean, let's see if this is going to work. Maybe we can even take take two blindnesses. Let's go try and kill this uh, giant cyclops. Where is he? Oh, he's not, he's not there. There he is. Just great cyclops. Um... They can explore, and they, they can explore, and I think that's just about it. Well, these people are furious at me. Um, we've got a quite large town. Ah, uh, look, I don't see any need to do anything else. Let's leave it at that. Okay, we've got a Thieves Guild, a Brigand Thief Renegade Assassin. Well, seems a bit pointless for me to attack, um, because it'll be such an easy fight. But I will attack. Because that's just how we roll, motherfucker. Get in the ring, motherfucker, and I'll kick your bitch, you little ass, punk. Any Guns N' Roses fans out there? Get in the ring! Get in the ring! We'll do something like that. Now, I'm gonna actually not use my silver weapons. Because I'm not gonna need to. Ooh. 
Well, that was pretty simple. Alright, we'll take marksmanship four. Maybe that'll I do even more fucking damage and we get a sphere of thought. That I guess would be good on my mage. And we'll make a deal with the thieves. Oh, that's right, they're about to rebel. I shouldn't have moved my person because I was wanting to harvest them for some experience, but um, they're going to pay for this. Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. Uh, they're going to pay for this too. They didn't stand a chance either. All these people rebelling. When do we ever learn? Okay. So we'll continue to explore. And I can visit the treasury, so I'll drop this in there. And we'll repair items. So we went up a level, but I didn't really pay any attention to what he actually gained. Um, but it wasn't the command, so I can't hire um, another unit. Now, what should I build? Ah, oh, let's build this craft shop, eh? Or do I, I wouldn't mind a Temple of Life, actually. I think I think I wanted to do that. The Temple of Life would really help me with this Cyclops. Um. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Fam famous last words. All right, we'll come back here to get um, my cannon fodder, and we'll explore the province. Ah, damn it! Of course, there's going to be fucking orcs and and stuff. All right, so we want to be as far away from the cyclops as possible. Um so that we can, you know, lay the smack down on his ass. Lay the smack down on his insulin ass. Um, as much as possible. Um, while he's running towards me. So, they've got a range of five. One, two, three, four. When they're standing on the hill. I guess... I guess this is a... As good a setup as any. Okay, let's see how much. I guess let's first of all see how much damage the Spectral Blade does. 15? Okay. For someone with 100 hit points, that's not really that much. Let's see how much damage my shock does. 13. Okay, so that's definitely. Um, whoa. And if it does zero damage, it doesn't fucking. Ah, get the bleeding stacks on him. But we've got him down to 30 so far, which is, you know, not nothing. Okay, now we've got to start to, start to worry. to blind this guy so you still got a one and a one it says that it reduces it to zero how can you have a one and a one but hopefully that's taken him out see what the fuck how did he do seven fucking damage with a one and a one Trample. When attacking an enemy in melee, the unit can trample it if the enemy has 10 or less hit points left after the attack. Having made the kill... Ah, uh, so they did one damage and then fucking trampled them. Okay, so this was a massive miscalculation <laughs> on my behalf because... But it shouldn't be one, it should be fucking zero. So... I, I, I fucking claim bullshit on that bullshit. 
Now he's gonna come and trample me. Oh, no. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be fucking one. It's so fucking bullshit. Fuck off, cunt. So he did zero damage to to her, fortunately. But because they've also got a one defense too, like that's just ridiculous. Well, I need to make sure that I don't get hit by this thing. So we'll run to here. Um, but I think these things. What? How is he doing? How is he doing? Oh, did the blindness wear off? Okay, I'll give you that. Oh, whoops. What the fuck, he's got no ammo left. I don't know. I don't know about this 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 fight because it didn't. It literally says that it reduces its attack and defense to zero, and yet he's got a one. So the whole premise of this, like, it's just flawed. Like, so let's see if I reduce this dude. So he's got a five and a six. Let's fucking cast blindness on this cunt. He's got a one and a one. The unit is blinded and is unable to attack, and yet he's got a one and a one. <laughs> yeah, fucking whatever, cunt. So I'm gonna um, surrender. Yes, the battle is lost. Even though I would have, even though I would have um, won it. And I'm going to step back in time, into the past, and I am have absolutely no qualms of stepping back into the past on this one, because the blindness spell isn't doing what it fucking says that it's meant to do. You know, it's like, fucking get your get your wording of your fucking spell right, so that it reduces it to one and one. Don't say that it's unable to attack and reduces it to zero, because that's clearly not what happens. So it's either a bug, or a translation error, or just words wrong. <laughs> what I am annoyed about, I guess, is that I moved here to attack this Cyclops um, and missed out on farming the experience from this from these people. But that was that was that was a mistake on my part. Anyway, whatever. So we've got a Hell Cohort here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough webs. But let's at least see what this hell, hell cohort is. I'm kind of, I've um, got my spells equipped for them. We'll in turn. All right, fiend service and fiend lord. All right, we'll, we will attack these pricks. I don't have some OP fucking trample ability. Whew, 
I know all the damage, so he's going to be bleeding quite a bit. And this guy can move too, so he won't be able to step up onto this hill. So that's right. We've got to try and kill this person. I mean, they're, they're dead. They're as good as dead, anyway. Oh, 17. There you go, that's pretty easy. Okay, we've got a Null Gang and a Heavenly Light and some other stuff. Alright, we've got an Ancient Crypt here. Skeleton, Bone Spearman, Zombie Ghoul, Necromancer. Ah, that sounds like something that I can attack. So is a bit difficult to know. Yeah, maybe it's not something like that. Unfortunately, the bleed and stuff won't do anything. Well, I need to take this dude out. Oh. web this dude. So I'll let him get an attack off. It'll probably be an attack onto me. Okay, so I think it's definitely aiming um, for me up here. I'll web this dude. We're going to be webbed for two turns, which is okay. He attacks with a four. I think what I really want to do. Oh, he's got only four hit points left. If I cast, I'll lose three hit points. But that'll be alright, that'll be alright. Do I have the ammo? I think I do. So if I move back and then cast summon him. This him can like protect him. <clears throat> and this thing is still this thing hits like a truck. I 
next thing I can do. Yeah. Best thing I can do, I think, is to web this and run away with this. Okay, so they're going to be webbed only for one more turn, which is not much. Because they're also going to be bad for one more turn. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I've used all my webs. I can't heal this person because they've got um, festering wounds. I can curse them. Oh no. The resistance came into play. I think I just want to run away with this. Let's just do that. There we go. Now, is that going to do that much damage? It's not going to do that much damage. But now they're out of um, ammo, so I can just kite back and just chill. Kite back and chill. I definitely have a very squishy army, <laughs> um, but we did all right. We did all right. We go counterattack. We'll go energy control. We have got sphere of memory and phantom form, and we've got some killer rats. Well, you can fucking cope with that yourselves. For a long time, rats being kept at bay, but then they're attacking me. Where? They? What the hell? Well, they died. So it's like I told you that they could deal with that themselves. Guess I'll keep on exploring. Um, Sphere of memory is worse than the sphere of thought. Fan and form will get down there. And I guess we'll just repair all. Okay. Time to put my cunning or not so cunning plan into action. If she had better movement as well, it would be much better. Um, but let's let's see what happens with that. All right, rule car. Um, there's another co hell cohort here. Maybe I can take out that hell cohort. It's also like the skeletal pack and stuff like that, which, you know, I wouldn't have any trouble taking out when equipped like this. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, do, we'll go to the hell cohort, we'll go there and we'll keep exploring. Now, what can I build here? What do I want to build here? I guess I want to build a granary. 
I can't believe I haven't done this already. And then upgrade that to a stable because then I'm going to get the extra income from the horses. Um, yeah, it's pretty insane that I hadn't done that already. And I will get a Temple of Shadows. Will I? No. I'll get a Temple of Life. That's what I think I want to do. Which then... You know, this... Which is going to make... This this person extremely capable of taking out evil stuff. Because then you get, like, the second level shocks. So, perhaps I should just go back and equip that. Um, get those spells just in case because I don't really know know what I'm up against. Now these people are furious and the guards only have to be 50%. I could cast Heavenly Light. Ooh, ooh. So I'll still send the hit points of the friendly troop and province and increase their morale by five. Um, also increases province population mood and increases growth rate for 10 turns but um I'm not going to do that, because that sounds like a good thing to do, and I'm a prick. Alright, so, we will end turn. Don't even know if web is what I want. Let's just do it. End turn. Alright. Attack. Well, there was a, there was nine before. Now there's only seven. So she could probably have done this um, herself. There's one of these pricks still left, though. We don't like those pricks. Um, let's start fight. There we go, my cunning plan is working. And my cannon fodder are uh, acting exactly like that. Which is very good. Defense Might as well. Aha! <laughs> Let's just keep advancing. Okay. So this guy doesn't have Hill's knowledge. So I don't really need to worry about him attacking me right now. Wow. I wonder who did like this. Death, like a, that was a really cool death um, sound. Alright, let's take this fucking prick out. Yeah, centaur death sounds definitely the best. <laughs> right, my, my, my cunning plan worked perfectly. question is, do we go towards athletics which would give her more speed? Because at the moment, like, her speed in her heavy armour is definitely a problem. Or do we go for defence, just to make her more invulnerable? I think invulnerability sounds a little bit better than speed. <clears throat> and we'll, I guess we'll wait for new orders because... So, they're indignant. Indignant, indeed. What have we got here? Some goblin lands. Damn it. So, they're probably going to have poison and the like. Man, expansion. 
Expansion here is freaking difficult. Um. Okay, but I will build a pub and a tavern. Now they're very discontent. Now, the, the problem with centaurs, you know, is like, you know, they you can see how strong they were. I, I really don't want to deal with a centaur uh, rebellion. So we've got these mugs over here who are quite happy. So I'm going to enchant a coffer them and steal some of their gold. Keep them quiet and then I'm going to actually build... Oh, I don't have enough money. I thought I'd have enough money to build this theatre. I will build a theatre when I can. I'll save up for it. Um, no, Alright, so... We've now got... We've now learned a second level exorcism spell. So we'll do that. We'll grab a couple of webs because webs are just bomber. And we'll grab a couple of blasts. We'll grab a blast and see magic crystal. You know, like it makes a magic crystal, um, which basically blocks things. Uh, the range is... Yeah, okay. So maybe with my summon ability it would be better. Like... I can see how it could be super useful in some situations, like when you've got... Um... Knolls that like are killing killing themselves and, and, and like want to get to you and stuff, but yeah, you know, like the situations where it's actually useful. Like, yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, uh, this is going to have a shock. <laughs> that is such a, a one dimensional, um. Unidimensional um, spell build or whatever, but I'm gonna do this hell cohort. Maybe I can even do this chaos legion. Um, if I get to level 10, I'll be able to, probably. Alright, so what have we got here? Okay, they look like they're about to rebel. I should go teach him a thing or two about rebelling. Now let's at least go see what this what's um, defending this goblin lands. I'm assuming that it's going to be too difficult for me to fight as a one woman army. And I saw that she she got a command. Um, maybe I should go and get you know demon demonologist. Get those range things and actually try and level up that army because that would be a pretty powerful army, you know, a whole bunch of ranged attack with a warrior like wailing on you. Um, it sounds pretty good to be honest. It's just, you know, one man, one, one, one woman army is this sounds like goblin, hunter, wolf rider, trapper, six things. You know what? <laughs> it all—it oh, all depends. I'm gonna try and attack this. It depends how much of these um, things have. They've got poison. They've got poison. <laughs> yeah, so... And they... They have quite a lot of ammo, so... That is going to be problematic for me, and he's got poison. The poison is probably going to be the enemy. With 
Force March. I'll take that out so they can't win me at least. against time. It's looking like I'll win actually. Alright. They are going to pay for this and I will defend with Sherez. Look how like low he is. I mean things just don't heal. Um if you don't have um Healer in the army. And this person needs to learn recovery so that I can actually get some healing done. This guy's still cursed, isn't he? Um, oh, and that should serve them right for rebelling against me. Pretty good range defense, really. But uh, we'll, we'll make it better. Your spies report that an imposter has appeared um, in the province of stagnant waters. He declares himself to be a ruler of your domain. Many people in the province have become his followers, acknowledging him as the true ruler. Now they're paying tribute, and your income has increased. Has decreased. Well, I'll, I'll execute the imposter and all of the traitors. Soldiers are succeeding in catching the imposter and all of his followers. After they learn about the impending execution, many people announce their idol, but some of them still follow him all the way to the gibbet. This will be a good lesson for these mortal fools. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, that was an extremely weak. Um, force um, defending there so I will 
put us some patrolmen in charge here and I'll keep on keeping on so this free settlements is the next in my um next in my rampage now I oh I was oh I can build a theater let's build a theater let's make people happier well, these people will still hate me. But then, there is a Chaos Legion there. Alright, so, I was going to go to the Hell Cohort. And, oh, that's right, I just, I just moved here to, um, farm the, the Rebellion for <laughs> new land. That's right. I'm not making much gold, but I'm making a shitload of gem income. Siege engineers. Well, I guess while I'm here, I might as well just explore. I don't really see things that... I like these drows. Now, now, now they're, they're, they're very content again. That's a uh, miracle on eight of them, so... Um, get them to grow a bit more. Then I can start farming them for things that I need. Alright, so you move on. You're attacking the ancient ruins. What kind of stores do I have? A tailor store, so that would be good for my, um, a tanner store, so that would be good for my archer. I've got two tanner stores. I mean, I'll be able to take on this sort of stuff with my archer, surely. Let's move him there. Alright, let's end turn. Nine. A militiaman, slinger, spearman, bowman, pipe, swordsman, veteran, spearman. I will attack. I will stand in forest. Gives me a range defense of 10 now. He's still doing like so. He did one damage to me. He's got a he's got a, a range attack of five. I've got a range defense of 10, and he still did one damage to me. Defense of 13 and a defense. So parry doesn't it doesn't come into play when they attack you, I think. Um, shots that are reducing my stamina are like really annoying me. That's right, we destroyed 
them, and we have gained another level by looks of things. Excellent. So we'll we'll take um. I guess we'll take Armour Master 3. Fiend, Cerebus, Fiend Lord. Let's attack. So this is um, very similar. Very similar sort of party to what we had before. Um, is that where I, is that where I want to be? Don't really know. I, don't really know. Maybe something like that might be the way to go, but you know, they just could stand here and it makes no difference. But they do defend. I think I'm overthinking things slightly. Okay, so... The first thing that's going to reach me is probably this dude, because he has got the highest movement, so... We'll just do that. worry about everything arriving all at the same time and me not being able to deal with it well, it looks like I should be able to kill this person off so they're dead next turn means that I should fail on this cunt as much as possible. And they're dead next turn. And I'm going to... So I could ex ex exorcism, which will, you know, do a lot of damage and stun them. That costs eight. I guess it's not, not really too much. But, or I could just web them. How long would that last? Not that long. But maybe it will last long enough to be able to lay down some serious damage onto this prick. Okay, so he's going to unweb next turn, so. It's exorcism. There you go. And we've achieved level 10. And I will, I don't really want to go next. I will go a mage so I can cast two of those, two level one or level two spells in a turn, which will make me very powerful. Even though I don't really want to get, um, I'm not playing necromancy at all. But I, but I do have that raised school spell. Sphere of Knowledge and an Iron Ring. People in the province of Wolverine Valley are pilling rooms that evil creatures exist. Hire a team of adventurers. Never trust the adventurers. They never came back. Maybe they perished. Or maybe they just ran away with the gold. I never trusted the adventurers. Those damn adventurers. You know, it's like I'm doing my best. Okay, so we got some nomad steps. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, but I'm thinking that her stuff is probably getting kind of broken. It's actually not too bad. 
Alright, so let's build a dark tower here. So that we can see further. We still can't see either of my opponents. So, yeah, they, they must be having just as hard a time um, as me. We'll get a storehouse just so that I can um, repair. Repair all items. Trolls. They'll probably be a bit too difficult for me. Let's let me just look, look up trolls. So trolls rank three, but they only move one. Yeah, so my mage will be able to kill them really simply. They do have an attack of 17 and a counter attack of 17. Um, so it's doubtful that Joanna will be able to kill any more than one troll. And I think they normally come in like sort of like two or something. That's right, Joanna's going to move on to the, the Nomad Steps. Oh, what? And then, and then I'm blocked by this fucking thing. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so I can't even like expand around here. This is such a tricky shard, I tell ya. That's right. Rule car level ten. All right, let's have a look at this chaos legion, shall we? And um. You can do the swamp creatures. I think it's going to be the it's going to be the cool there. Am I equipped for a chaos lesion? I won't be able to use this blast at all, I'd much rather it if, if, if it was like more exorcisms. I mean, Chaos Legions are pretty fucking difficult, <laughs> um, to be honest, but maybe I'll just re-equip for some better spells and I'll come back. But we'll go to the old sewers and we'll go to the Nomad Steps, alright, let's do it. One of the local lords has been defeated. Excellent. Seven. Seven fucking horse archers and horsemen. You know, it's just like... It's just like the centaurs all over again. The difference is that it's really simple to buy these, these lands. Negotiate. What can you offer me, brother? Seven hundred. Oh. And I think she's a bit hurt anyway. I'll think about it. Basilisk, Swamp Dragonfly, Giant Slug. All right, you guys are going down. Now who's got hills knowledge? She's got hills knowledge. That's that's good. Woo. They've got a range of four. One, two, three, four. So they'll be able to shoot her if she moves up there. That's right. She can just probably. Now they've got to have a range defense. I can only move three, so I'll just I'll just leave things like that. I think.
27. Could do 28. Oh, I can nearly kill it. I'm allowed to get the spit off. Poison spit off. Um, well, I don't do that when I can just web him. <laughs> I used up all my webs. That was a little silly of me, wasn't it? a reasonable amount and send it to neighboring lands. I'll execute the magician. A dead of ceased to rise. Wonderful. Okay, so Joanna has all of her hit points. I'm thinking hmm I'm thinking that she does a shitload of damage. <laughs> um, I think I don't. I can't even build it. Oh, it's so frustrating. Not like. She can, act, she can get another spell. No, maybe getting a magic crystal would be a good spell because maybe that would allow them to only tap me one at a time. But they're still gonna shoot shit at me. <coughs> Fireblade, however, might might be a good I could fire. I but I can't because it's a level two spell. Yes, yeah, so I can only get these things. So we'll take another map. 
magic armor. Maybe a magic weapon. I don't think I need to do any more damage. I wonder if I can take on the nomad steps myself. Uh. Let's try it. Let us attempt it. Because they don't have um, the armor decreasing dudes that like the other centaur things had. It's still going to be dangerous. and I want her to be f have all of her stuff yet. And she's full health, so... Yeah, it could be a complete fool's errand. Um, Alright, we've got some holy lands here. Let's see whether I can defeat these holy lands. We'll take some blasts. Um, we'll take some spectral blades. Um, definitely take some webs. Maybe this. Maybe a heal. I don't know. So I can have a spectral blade. Let's see if I can take on the, this holy lands. It would be, yeah, I mean, I haven't even looked at like what's defending them, to be honest. Um, but I just know that they're particularly dangerous. So this is still got no population. Still, what about my miracle of nature that I cast everything? So it went from like a cursed land to a dead land. I didn't know that happened. I thought it could either be cursed lands or dead lands. I didn't know that cursed lands were worse than dead lands. Um, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there finally. Um, I'll build a pub. Now, who likes me? These people like me. do that. Okay, so what have we got here? Got some goblins. Goblin, hunter, wolf rider, trapper. I reckon we should be able to defeat those, eh? Alright. Let's end turn. Okay, Witch Hunter inquisitor, a smiting hand attack. So okay, that's good, that's good. They're just going to keep on wasting their magic shot and not doing any damage. And we will blast and blast. Oh. Ooh. These force march, fuck, they can. I totally miscalculated that. I need to kill these people. Oh, 
just not gonna be enough to kill him. <laughs> I guess I can move there. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that we should still be safe. Could probably have kited them a little bit more. That's right. He's dead next turn. And he's dead this turn. I will heal up this person. So, I know that I said that, you know, that these lands are quite difficult and I made that look very, look very easy, but that's because I can cast those two spells at once and everything like, which makes this mage very powerful we'll take defense we'll take defense all right let's attack oh there's no cover there's no cover for me and there's a shitload of horsemen that are going to get charged charge bonuses on me but that's all right because there's swamps which are going to prevent them from really getting too much of a charge bonus off. So I'm going to cast armor on myself anyway. But I reckon I've got this one. Okay, now I'm raging. Now you guys are fucked. these dudes in a threatening manner. They also get charge bonuses, but their attack is less. And that is how it's done. And that's another level gone up. <laughs> Alright, so... It is, like, these are all really good. Um, I guess I'll... I guess I'll go for the combat too, just to make it more, more invincible because of the um, increased parry. And um, let's attack these people. I think I need to really double shot stuff. He doesn't have any poison, so I don't really need to worry about that. Curse this dude. One, two, three, four. So yeah, so I don't want to move them because this guy. Well, I can only move three. Let's do it then. And turn. What's his range defense? I mean, what's his? What's his? Oh, his magical attack's pretty shit. Oh, 
heal this person up. Goblins defeated. Okay, so we get lizard guards and male gauntlets. Alright, so we're finally pushing through, and I'm starting to see some swamps on the swamp map. Now, let's say he was defeated. Um, so, yeah, so the local lord who was only competent, um, not surprisingly, was defeated by the expert um, astral lord, whoever that is. But, you know, I've, I've uncovered it. Half, well, nearly half the map, and haven't seen anyone yet. So I think I'm doing all right. So we got a free settlement. Um, we got a mill here. We get a tribe to defend it. We'll also build a pub. Or oh, let, let's have a look at her. Um, man, yeah, look. Weapons are looking okay. Let's get a pub then. As well. I will march on to the free settlement too. Nomad steps and Medusa swamps. Ooh. Our Medusas, Medusas, Medusas. I think that they've got like a pretty high. They've, they're rank threes. Um, yeah, they've got a six magic resistance, but like with my thaumaturgy, with my thaumaturgy, with um, that would re reduce that to three. I could potentially beat some reduces. And I could also potentially beat some Nomad Steps. Um, I would want... <clears throat> I wouldn't want to take on a Nomad Steps, I don't think, with, with, um... With Rule Car. But if I've only got, like, a couple of Medusas... What, what, what do they move as? They've got a movement of two, and they've got Swamp Knowledge. Um... Which is kind of, kind of annoying. So, we'll see what's defending this. Um, unless, what is it here? Clerics, Dwarves, Minotaurs. Now, the problem is I'm completely, uh, well, actually, I'm not completely unequipped to like, defeat Clerics. I'm very much I'm equipped to, the, to defeat some Clerics. So, maybe I should attack the Clerics. And, I think they might have... They may have pikemen. <laughs> Who knows? Um, Alright, what do we got here? Trolls. Battle mages. Shamans and sorcerers. Hell cohort. Battle mages. I feel that, like, you know, other people would be... Perhaps a bit... Um... Let's see what this hell cohort is, eh? So a couple of double shots here and there. Um, we should be able to, to defeat them. Uh, but this is actually where I'm going to end um, this episode. I think I've been going for, for well over an hour. Um, we have finally expanded. However, one of our expansions is just pointless because it's blocked by a mountain. Um, we easily made it through these holy lands, and I think things should start getting easier maybe from here on out because it's getting it will be getting closer to the other um, the other s sort of um, 
uh, player centers, which then, you know, the province difficulty scales back. So, who knows? Who knows? We will find out on the next episode of Clavicus's evil playthrough of Eador, uh, Genesis New Horizons, um, which is the community mod, and this is a December 2022 update. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you guys later.